Supreme Riser. You already know the vibes. I'm in my little corner right here. You know what I'm saying? In my little corner. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I don't think, you know, I don't think y'all gonna like what I'm about to say right now. I don't think, I don't think people gonna like what I'm about to say regardless. <clears throat> people don't never like what I have to say. For the most part, I don't get many likes or visuals, but y'all should be sharing, you know what I'm saying, and putting my shit out. But, hey, it just shows me that you don't give a shit, right? I'm pretty sure. Y'all know plenty of people. Y'all can take my videos and, and post them and share them, right? And share them to other motherfuckers and shit, right? Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. You're the idiot. You'll always be the idiots. Because people are like, yo, how you think you're going to get somewhere disrespecting people because you're fucking stupid? I'm serious. Y'all, y'all like idiotic to the whole, like to the fullest, like. And people were like, yo, I remember I was talking to um, somebody. I was, you know, one of my subscribers. And it was like, yo, sometimes you come off kind of hard. I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> I really don't. Because you know what? I'm my true self. I am who I am. So I'm going to say how I feel. And I'm going to stand on that shit. You know what I'm saying? The point in life was always supposed to be the journey. You know what I'm saying? It was supposed to be what you can do when you got it. You know what I'm saying? If somebody gave you something, you know, sometimes it didn't always work. So you had to make make the best out of it or see what you can do with it, right? Well, today in this convenient world or this convenience world or corner store idea or a paper plate and paper cup, um, paper, uh, plastic silverware mentality that we carry around in this fucking world. Y'all want everything to come to you prepared. Everything got to come to you. Oh, it got to have this and it got to have that. And your ass ain't got half of nothing. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, this is the reality. Like, you don't want something that's unscathed mentally. You want something that's scathed mentally. Most people don't take into consideration when a person has things or they accumulated a certain value. That comes with a lot of ego. It comes with a lot of particular aspects that changes a mentality from its original base. Even when a person has went through their life for a long time and they're scarred by particular values because it's like saying don't be a sore loser in a sense. You know what I'm saying? All right, it didn't happen. Keep moving. All right, your name wasn't on that. Keep moving. You know what I'm saying? Don't go and try to act against what you see. Don't try to change what you see. Just be a part of it the best way you can. And that's what the real universal knowledge states in motion but female and male female and males alike y'all stupid as shit like niggas out here want fake shit you want a girl with some weave some makeup fake jewelry fake ass fake titties and all that you want that oh that's 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 it right there I just, yeah you know what i'm saying like and females y'all want a motherfucker who's been through everything you want somebody who has it all got it all and be mad when he like, you ain't it, because I can get more. You know what I'm saying? So the addiction value to that process, it's almost like if you really wanted what you say that you wanted collectively, men and women, if y'all really wanted how you wanted to visualize or connect to certain values in life with people, you would take them at their base. You would take them with nothing because that's a buildup. You get a chance to experience somebody from their start. Females started the concept, I don't want to build this, I don't want to build that. Well, you don't want the original aspect of that person. You don't want to know that person the way you the way you want to know them. You want a person to have everything but 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 not but not be but not be what the stuff will change it into. That's an oxymoron. Two things don't match. This is why strength comes into the value of the journey. Like, if you're going to walk a journey with somebody, if you're going to go through life with somebody, this means you're going to take it from where it is and you're going to keep going. Sometimes you get a jewel in life and that jewel in life is that somebody that that you're looking to meet or unbeknownst to you that you're going to meet them is going to have a level of intelligence 
and and collective knowledge that matches your present standpoint. That's a gift from the universe. But majority of the people, they don't want to take responsibility for their own, you know what I'm saying, for their own self. So you want to you want to look past what you are. This is how shit gets mixed up. It's like you put too much salt in the food. You know what I'm saying? Like you put too much of that in there, you can taste it. It's a lot. Like it's all right, but you put too much of that in there. I know y'all don't understand what I'm saying because you guys are addicted to bullshit. You don't even know how to be the original version of yourself. You're scared of yourself. Oh, I won't. I, you ain't gonna catch me out there crying. I never show nobody my real self so they can play me. No, I never get played. You're playing yourself saying that. You're selling yourself short. That's playing yourself. Regardless if you can comprehend that on a value or not. The ego only sets you up to play yourself. Because the person who really cares about you wants to know your vulnerability. You know what I'm saying? I used to say back in the day to different parents,